Hello and welcome to Animation uh, Flash Chapter 4, Lesson 1, the second half, and this is starting on Flash 4-14. The very first thing I want to do is I want to insert, and I want to do Timeline, and I want to do Layer. That's going to insert a new layer, it's called Layer 2, and we're going to rename this Biker 2. Biker 2, so that's our second biker layer. And then at this point in time, we want to go ahead and click over to our library when we want to grab the uh, biker library item or object and we want to put it right about there then what's going to happen is we're going to go to edit we're going to go to timeline and we're going to go to excuse me we're going to ah sorry about that so edit timeline copy motion I forgot to actually select the original item then I want to click back on where I want to put it I want to do edit I want to do timeline and I want to do paste motion and that's going to paste my motion right here. The next thing I want to do is I want to click on the free transform tool right here's my free transform tool and then I want to select the actual path that allows me now this pa portion of selecting the actual path is very important. Now I want to do modify, I want to do transform and I want to do flip horizontal. Right? So I went ahead and I flipped the horizontal item. Now you'll notice at this point in time it is the same motion path but the uh, biker is actually set in the same uh, direction. Now what I want to do is I want to take this, move this downwards, right? So I want to here grab my selection tool and I want to click on the entire item. So I want to select it and then after it all selected I want to actually select it downwards and I want to move it here. To make it a little easier for me to deal with I want to go ahead and I want to click off that biker there so I can actually see it. At the point in time where I have that all the way down then I want to actually click here I want to click on my free transform tool and I should be able to then modify transform and I want to flip horizontal and that should allow me to flip the actual uh, biker itself. Now in my particular case um, my biker is now in an odd position and I can then take him and move him like this. So now we're similar to uh, Flash 4-15 figure 20 where I've aligned him to the path and make sure that's perfectly fine. So um, I'm going to click frame 1 on the biker 2 layout. So here's my frame 1 on the biker 2 layout. And I want to display the properties panel. So there's my properties panel. You'll notice I have my rotate times right here. And I want to change this to 1. I'm going to change this to, I'm going to rotate it one time. And I'm going to rotate it one time uh, clockwise. So I made sure that's there. Oops, I accidentally closed it. Direction is clockwise. Outstanding. Now, what's going to happen is, if I then run it, he's going to rotate once as he goes across. Then I can continue to do that. Let me go back to my frame one. And if I chose two times, obviously he would then rotate clockwise two times as he goes across. So I'm also going to click the orient to path. So now we've actually sent him back back to the way it was. So I'm going to unhide the biker layer which is that. So I've now I turned on the flips and then by orient, orient to path I turn off the flips. I want to click frame 1 on the biker 2 layer which is right there. So I have my two bikers coming at each other. Um, insert on the menu then click remove tween. So I'm going to insert remove tween. So now I'm removing that. All right, blue highlight is gone. Biker on the biker two layer is visible, but it does not move. Right, because I've removed the actual movement before. And I can use my edit, and I could do undo, undo clear frame, edit, remove tween. So now I've got it back. Um, now we want to click biker two, and I can delete it and save it if I so choose. Now. The next thing I'm going to do, so I've added an item, I've copied it over, and now I'm going to delete that particular Biker 2 layer. So I'm going to delete that layer as a whole. So now I'm just down with the one Biker. 
The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an illusion where the biker is moving off the stage. So I'm going to go to frame 40 and I'm going to lock the biker layer. So there we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a new layer. So we're going to do insert timeline layer. So here's my new layer and I'm going to call that bike off stage. Bike off stage. Right. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a keyframe. It says click insert a menu bar, point to timeline, and click keyframe off the bike state bike off stage layer. So I'm actually going to do that right there. So I'm going to insert and I'm going to do I'm going to go back here right there. I'm going to insert uh, timeline keyframe. All right. So now I've inserted a keyframe at 40. Then I'm going to take the G biker symbol and I'm going to move it to 41. So I'm going to move this to 41 and I'm going to take my key biker symbol here and I'm going to actually move it right here. So he looks like he's coming off the stage. And what's going on is I'm uh, moving it off the stage. So the next thing is click the view list arrow, right? And I want to create a motion tween between this and frame 45. So I insert motion tween and then I'm going to move to 45 and I'm going to grab this and I'm going to move him here. And that what's going on here is I'm making an appear as if he's driving off. Watch. All right. So let me try this again. <laughs> so he jumps and he appears like he's actually driving off. There's a little bit of an overlap between 40 and 41. Let's see if I can't solve that a little bit. And reset it. So it's, it's a little bit, you know, I'd have to kind of smooth that out a little bit more, but it gives you a definite idea of what you can do in your frame by frames in reference to utilizing both your tweens and your ability to flip horizontal. I can have things moving at the same speed. We went through, we duplicated the uh, movement, we changed an actual movement path, we actually changed and notice the difference between changing the movement path as opposed to actually changing the graphic itself. So there's a significant difference between the two and you need to be aware that you can manipulate those paths as needed. All right, well, thank you very much, and if you have any questions, do let me know. Let's move on to lesson two.